Yo, what is good, Jets Nation? Welcome back to Jets Media. This is Richie, and in this video, I want to talk about the news that Marcus May will be out three to four weeks with an ankle injury. This one came out of absolutely nowhere, and we also see a tweet from Marcus May's agent that he will be fully healthy right in time for the trade deadline. So more drama surrounding the New York Jets. I want to give you guys my thoughts about this, um, about Marcus May's injury, the impact it's going to have to the Jets defense, and his agent going out there and basically just calling out the Jets organization time out and time again. He, we know that he did this earlier on, like a couple months ago, during the whole you know franchise tag process. Uh, I think back in March. So we're very familiar with Marcus May's agent and what he does on Twitter. So before we hop into the video, I just want to mention if you guys are new to Jets Media, please make sure you smash that subscribe button. And if you want to check me out over on Instagram and Twitter, that is at nyjets underscore media. And if you enjoy the video, please do not forget to thumbs it up. With that being said, let's get right into the video. So first, let's talk about Marcus May's injury and the impact it's going to have to the Jets defense because as we know, this Jets D is absolutely absolutely getting destroyed with injuries we find out that Carl Lawson out for the year Vinnie Curry out for the year LaMarcus Joyner out for the year Jared Davis out for six weeks um it just doesn't end and then we find out that our veteran the best player in the secondary is injured for the next three to four uh, weeks uh, Marcus May you know I have some interesting thoughts about Marcus May I love him ever since that we drafted him I was a very big Marcus May fan but this year you can tell that he's not really bought in you can tell he's not happy here you can tell he wants out um, he was not happy when the Jets gave him the franchise tag. He was not happy when the Jets did not give him the contract extension. And it's unfortunate because I love Marcus Mays. His play style was awesome. He was always, you know, he always came to work for the New York Jets, not this year, but previous years as, you know, the leader. He was a captain last season for the Jets and he always did his job and he always was a pro. But this year he has a different energy to him. You know, he's always sending out some weird tweets, you know, calling out the Jets. And you can tell that he he's not really all there. Um, Earlier on the, in the season, Season. he's definitely playing good balls not playing lights out he's not playing like a top 10 top 15 safety in my opinion um i was one of those people that said you know maybe we should extend marcus may but if he wants to ask for the contract extension that he's asking for maybe not because again he's 29 turning 30 years old if the jets gave him the contract that he's looking for you know that the Jets are not in a situation to do that right now, and I feel like Joe Douglas did a right, uh, did a good job by you know holding out on this situation with Marcus May. Obviously, he has been the most experienced you know guy in that secondary right now, and he's vital to the development of some players in terms of the leadership and the communication parts of things. But in terms of you know financially speaking for the Jets right now, we are obviously in a rebuild right now, and everyone's gonna be like, oh, we've been rebuilding forever. Well. The truth of the matter is we are we have a brand new regime and we are not built to win right now. As we can see, we're sitting at 0-3 and, and we're struggling all over the place, especially in the offensive side of the ball. So the Jets, if they were going all in to win this year and going all in to win next year, yes, you extend Marcus May. But they're not. They're trying to develop a culture and develop, you know, through the draft. And obviously the draft class last year is not looking as promising as we hoped. And this year's draft class is looking pretty good outside of some other people. And it's way too early to really talk about the draft class this year. But, you know, Marcus May, it his impact, his injury is going to suck because now the safety position, we have Ashton Davis coming back this week, which is really good. I don't know if he's going to be playing this week, but he uh, is practicing, which is a good sign. And um, he's definitely going to be a big blow because this defense has been holding their own. They're like top 10 in um, pass defense. I think they're 14th in rush defense, and they look really good, exceeding everyone's expectations. So Marcus May, him out, not going to help out the situation. But getting into his agent calling out the Jets, saying right in time for the trade deadline, it's just really clown stuff. I don't understand why he has to do that. It's very unprofessional for his agent to do that. Obviously, Marcus May doesn't have a problem with it because if he did have a problem with it, he would tell his agent to take it down or tell him not to do that. So uh, it's obvious Marcus May wants out of the New York Jets organization. That just does not have a good taste in my mouth when I see stuff like that. You know what I mean? As a Jets fan, but it is what it is. The Jets organization, they're going through the, you know, all of the highs and lows right now, as we can see. But I would love to hear what you guys have to say down below in the comment section um, about this situation. It's obviously not a fluid one. It's not a positive one. It's one of those things where, okay, maybe some Jets fans think that we should have extended Marcus May and you guys are completely okay to, you know, think that way. At, at one point, I f felt like we should extend him. But now seeing where he's at mentally and seeing that he's not all bought in with the organization, it feels like he doesn't really care and he just wants out and he's doing everything he can in a professional way to get his way out of there by telling his agent to tweet out stuff to trade me at the deadline. It just doesn't, you know, I don't really want that guy 
on my Jets team if he simply does not want to be here. You know, you want guys that trust the organization and trust the future of this team no matter what. And obviously, Marcus May does not have that. So leave a comment down below your thoughts, guys. Smash that like button if you enjoyed. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Let's go Jets. Peace.